I'm glad that you brought that up because folks, if they're, if they're only in their own community and they see that this is how everybody is getting their care, they just assume that is the standard. They don't even know to ask what else could be, or could there be some harm or some side effects of this? I'm just saying, Hey, you might not have understood that there were other ways to think about this or approach this, or there's certain level of risk potentially involved. And we're all very individual and no one can, can know ahead of time how you're going to respond to any one of these things. But certainly if you are responding, you should do something about it. And that's where you and I, our worlds kind of collide and that it becomes really clear um, in my world when someone has done the best of the, of the tools they had available to them and then end up with problems coming from that. This is where even you and I, and what you wanted to talk about is just even how our philosophies may be different than our colleagues. Yeah, the 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 number of cases, first of all, you know, it doesn't matter what type of implant. If you can name an implant, I've been called by the surgeon who put it in to help them when it either got nearly exposed or it got infected or they had to replace something or whatever. You, you can come up with a thousand explanations of why I got called. And, you know, then it becomes what, you know, can, can I do to help basically reconstruct an area? And obviously, you know, one thing I did for a long time was just move tissue almost like an organ transplant from your own body from one place yeah. to another. And so the last person to win a Nobel Prize uh, who was a surgeon was Dr. Joseph Murray. He performed the first kidney transplant on Siamese twins, which was not a, I mean, for that time, it's, it's a, you know, a, a feat. But in reality, it's a technical exercise for a surgeon to do three things. So a ureter, an artery, and a vein in, because the immune system is exactly the same. So anytime you're doing an autologous, which is obviously what they were doing in Siamese twins, transfer, no problem. So trans, transplant, you know, as a specialty then becomes a thing because, well, if you can do it with that, we can do yeah. it with a cadaver. Oh my God, yeah. So then tolerance, which I'm, you're going to probably touch on, tolerance is obviously the problem here with any implant because we're not tolerant, mm. lack of a better word, of any implant. So you get problems. <laughs> yeah. And it's interesting.